everybody's having a good day today. I'll get right with it. Now that it's warming up, we're getting closer to late spring, early summer. I'm working on tying some more dry flies. And today I'm going to demonstrate how to tie my version of a yellow Sally stimulator. That's normal. All the materials list will be in the description. Okay, let's get started. First off, we're going to start with an underbody thread of fluorescent fire orange. And we're using this color for the the butt end of this fly as it's a female. That's, that's the the egg sac. Continue wrapping this on down around the, the bend about there. put a few half hitches in there, not half hitches, excuse me. Let's whip finish that on there and then we'll re remove this thread. Okay, now we're going to use cream colored thread and 70 denier. Run this all the way over it. care of that tag end. Okay, now we want to tie in a medium done hackle. Now I don't tie this with, on these small sizes, I don't tie these with 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 a wire rib on them. I don't have any issues with hackles breaking. I tend to lose the fly in a bin before I ever ever lose a hackle on them. We're going to use a medium done, sized appropriate for, for whatever size you're going to tie this. I'm tying this right now in a size 16. So you want the concave part of the feather facing the hook. Oh, come on. Secure that. You want to keep the body fairly slim. Yellow Sally's the, are not real big. Okay, now for the abdomen of this, we're using hairline ice dub UV in light yellow. We're going to make a very slim body with this. So twist your, your dubbing noodle up really tight. I don't like that. Let's thin that up a little more. There we go. Let's add a little more.
Okay. Trim off some of those little tags that are sticking up on this stuff. Perfect. Okay. Put half itch in here and we're going to get our thread out of the way. Now, we're going to palmer the hackle on. Now, when you start it in the back, you want to get one good full wrap before you progress up the up the hook. Same when you finish the top, get a good full wrap. Get the cradle out of the way. Okay, now let's trim off that hackle. Get rid of those little fibers that are left over. Okay. Now, we're going to put in the wing, and my hackle's a little big for this, but it's okay for a demonstration. So we're going to use some elk hair for the wing, but we're going to, not, you don't want a, a very large wing on this, it's, just, it's sparse, and it's almost see-through on the natural bug, so we're going to Take a piece of this elk hair. We'll cut it off. Now you're going to want to go through it and not only do you want to get the short stuff, but you want to get the extra long fibers out of it too. And you want to get the, the wool, the under fur out from, from it. I'll take it and we need to put it in the hair stacker. Okay, now let's pack that down. Take it out of the stacker. You'll have some, you will probably have some busted ends or flat ends on it. So go ahead and take those out. Okay, perfect. We're going to want about that much for our wing. Okay, so let's position... Oh, got another flat piece there. I didn't see that. There we go. Okay, position that so that it's about that long on the body. Just do a pinch wrap here to keep so we keep that right up against the, the hackle. Now pull as you're going forward, pull up a few of the fibers of the, of the elk hair from the butt ends and just keep tying them in as you go forward. This helps that wing secure so that when you're fishing it, it doesn't spin around on the hook on you. Okay, when we trim this, we're going to trim it at an angle back up to the the wing as we're going to tie a taper it needs to be tapered kind of a bullet shape for the for the front of the fly the head 
Make sure your wing's centered where you want it. Okay, now take your thread and wrap back up over that, up to your wing. Now for the hackle that goes on here, we're going to use the same color as we did on the the first one, the, the abdomen. It's the medium done. Same thing, you want the concave facing the hook. Okay, now for the thorax, we're using Arizona Diamond Dub in yellow. It's a brighter color than the, the body was. You can use any yellow color. I just, I prefer this color myself. You could use hairline, you could use um, super fine, whatever, whatever works the best for you. Okay, now let's palmer this, the hackle. Same thing as before, give yourself a good full wrap at the wing. And when you get down to the eye, same thing, full wrap. Okay, now let's secure that in. Okay, now let's trim that off. Let's put just a little bit of head cement on your thread before you whip finish. That way you don't have to put so much, do a double whip finish on it to get it secure. It will hold up better. Keep your bulk down. Two, three, four. Oh, no, 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 don't get that stuck in there. There. Whew. Just about got my the fibers, the barbs and the feathers stuck in there. Trim off your thread. Got a couple errant pieces of hair there. There it is. A little yellow Sally Stonefly. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to us. Stay tuned every week for a new fly pattern. Have a good day.